Hey everybody, so for this four week project I decided to do composition and I composed piano scores and drum cadences. So it was a really cool project. Originally I was going to use Finale, which is a pretty expensive program, but before I bought it I thought maybe I should look around online for a cheaper option. And so I found flat and I really enjoyed it and I thought that it'd be a pretty great way to just ease into it. So for my project, here are all the things that I composed. So I did three cadences and two piano pieces. Amazing Grace was an arrangement. Taking Flight was an original piano piece. So let me just kind of show you the program a little bit. Let's create a new score here. I'll title it. I don't know. And um, you have all these different instruments you can choose from. Give you kind of a um, taste of what they all sound like here. Let's do piano, cello, drum set here. And you can move these around so you can get different orders. Um, but So here we go. So it's all set up for you. So you can fill in notes here. Pretty cool. I'm going to just fill in some basic notes and I'll get back with you. Okay, so I'm back and this is kind of what I came up with, just a really basic kind of score here. It's a really cool program. A lot you can do. I'm going to change the length of this for one thing. Actually, let's make a whole note. There we go. Make that a whole note. And you can even change like dynamics here. Let's say we want this to crescendo, decrescendo, crescendo, and this be fortissimo right there. You can also change like articulation or, or add ornaments I guess um, is what they call it. So this this last chord I wanna, want to roll it so we're gonna do that and you notice that this last chord changes and now it sounds like this. Obviously you can change um, you know whether it's natural or sharp or flat you can even change clef signs or do key changes, change the um, time signature, add repeats. You know, there's a lot you can do with this. So here's our score. We'll play it. Pretty cool. And one of the downsides, I guess, is the computer, it's hard for the computer to um, distinguish like dynamics and stuff. So the computer oftentimes will not do the dynamics very well, but for a free program, I think it's still really cool. So let's change the tempo. Let's kind of pick it up a little bit. Let's go about mm, 95 or so. Let's add some more left hand notes here. We'll go add a nice low C, we've got a half note, and then an F, make that a, oops, excuse me, make that a half note, then put a G, make that a half note, and there we go. So um, let's see how this sounds now that we change the tempo and add some more left hand notes. So when you're done with your score, another really cool thing, here, let's change it to, okay, and you can even put in composer name. So when you're done, you can export it. And you have a lot of different options here, but I'm going to just export it as a PDF. And preparing up the page there we go and look at that it just exported right 
to a PDF. Now, um, let's say that's too small for you. You can go back and you can change it. You can change it to go landscape. So now you can export it again, PDF. Here we go, that fits a little bit better. And then you can save it. Desktop. Okay. And it's right here on my desktop, so there you go. So it's a really, really cool program. Um, the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play you my piano piece that I wrote. So yeah, so that is my final project. And I also created some more stuff, but that's probably the thing I'm most proud of. So, so anyways, thank you for watching.